Hi, we're the, the mouse, mouse couple. couple. And today we're going to talk about our recent experience at Storybook Dining at Artist Point. So let's get started. So this was not our first trip out to this restaurant for this dining experience. We went last time in 2020, January of 2020, before the world exploded. Yes. And this time was in January 2022 fairly recently after the restaurant reopened mm -hmm. after being closed for so long due to covid so figured we would give it a second try see if it was just as good as we, as we remembered it because it was one of our favorite dining experiences from that trip yes at that time we had the dining plan it was a great value the food was great the service there was great the character interactions were fun so we knew things would be different with covid but we were excited to give it a second try yeah so this restaurant is a kind of a prefix menu where it is a set price. You get a selection of appetizers for the table, your choice of an entree, a selection of desserts, and then a non-alcoholic beverage is included as well. And this is $60 per adult and $39 per child. So it is rather pricey, but... Right. When we had the dining plan, great value. We exactly. were so excited to be able to use dining credits for that, but at this point... There is no dining plan, right. so something to keep in mind. We didn't have to wait very long past our reservation time. We were seated quickly, and we were actually toward kind of the area where they run around and dance a lot, the characters, so that was nice because there were some seats in the restaurant that I think you would not have been able to see very well. Right. And I would have been sad if we had been tucked away in a corner, which being a party of two adults, I kind of expected to be tucked away. Right. But we had a good view of the characters, so that was really nice since the characters don't come up to your table individually anymore. They kind of make rounds. Yeah. They all kind of do their own dance party and then one kind of makes rounds and socially, socially distance from each of the tables, um, but we'll visit each table individually just Back like, ways. I am looking at you and I am talking to you, and now I'm done with you, and now I'm looking at you and talking to this person at the next table. Right. It was like, that was the queen's, like, and I'm done with you, goodbye. But, so we were seated quickly, and that was when the queen was doing her thing. Yes. So she went away real fast. But our server, you know we love to give people kudos when they do a great job. Mm -hmm. This is a time when we're not going to say a name. Yeah. He was not great. Yeah. Our server, he was very nice. He was very kind, but he just kept disappearing. And then when he was there, he was like lurking behind me. Yeah. And I wouldn't know he was there. And then he would disappear. But so we sat down. He tells us how it's going to work, that they'll bring the appetizers to the table and the desserts to share and we get to pick our entree and I think you had to ask him for a drink yeah he never asked us for any drinks he just assumed we wanted water and yeah. that was it so we had to flag him down to get him to get to bring us some drinks and then he asked us for our entree order and I said well actually I want a drink as well an alcoholic beverage and so when we ordered our entrees, that was when we also ordered our drinks. Yes. On top of the water, because he just disappeared. But I got the evil to the core, I believe. Yes. The evil to the core, which was a blackberry margarita. This was the same drink that I got last time we came. It was good. It was fruity with a little bit of heat. It's not something that I'm dreaming about and drooling over. But if I was at this restaurant again and wanted a drink, I would get the same thing. Yeah. And I got the Brew of Peaches, which is the same thing I got last time, as was yours. Um, mm -hmm. Which is just a Jim Beam bourbon, peach, raspberry, and some sugar. It was good. Nothing to really write home about. Um, I will say I remember it being better the first time. This time it seemed a little bit watered down. But oh. I... It was fine. Wouldn't rush there again, like you said, but would definitely get it again. Just not going to be high on the list to rush back there just for the drink. And the drinks came when we were in the middle of eating our appetizers. Yes. So let's go back to the appetizers. Yes. So the appetizers, it's 
displayed on a little like lazy susan tree ours didn't light up though it didn't everybody so. around us their tree lit up ours didn't yeah which not the end of the world but i was like we don't have a magical tree i guess it's not. okay we let we lit up the table with our personalities this is we true. didn't need a tree but the three appetizers back to the task <laughs> at hand were a wild mushroom bisque a hunter's pie and the wicked shrimp cocktail the mushroom bisque was basically the same that it was last time really no changes with that at all very very thick it was thick and just very it was mushroomy. a lot i don't think either of us were real stoked to no. and we knew going in that this was gonna be the least favorite of, yeah. of the bunch because we're not mushroom fans at all mm -hmm. and but it was fine yeah. it wasn't inedible it tasted a little bit like a chicken soup with a little mushroom like thrown in right so don't be scared off if you're like oh i hate mushrooms you're you'll be okay yeah the hunter's pie this was turkey and chicken black truffle cranberry preserve and crispy sauerkraut um i don't remember any crispy sauerkraut up in there no same they might have been a slight variation that we received um, the flavor-wise was very good. The, the meat was seasoned nicely. It was in a puff pastry, mm -hmm. and my complaint about the hunter's pie was that I tried to cut into it, and the puff pastry exploded. Yeah. And it was like... It's very crispy. It was a lot. It just... Okay. But flavor-wise, I thought it was good. I thought of the appetizers, that was the best one. Yes. And then the last one was the Wicked Shrimp Cocktail, which had a Bloody Mary vinaigrette, seaweed salad, and spiced house-made seasoning. This was just pretty bland. Yeah, for it, it being Bloody Mary, I think we both had yeah. higher expectations. And then the salad was like layered. So I know I got a ton of seaweed and you got almost no seaweed. I got all arugula. Yeah. You got all the seaweed, so it wasn't, it wasn't a very cohesive we, it was appetizer. weird. It was a weird thing. So I guess if you order, or if you go here, just try to mix up your salad. Yeah. So we ate our appetizers, we're hanging out, we just gotten our drinks, and we're just sitting there. And I remember saying to you that I was glad that we got our drinks, because if they hadn't come, because we waited a while for them, Yes. that we would just be sitting there doing nothing, because our entrees hadn't arrived. And our server must have been lurking over my shoulder because a few minutes after that, our entrees arrived and were brought by the manager from the restaurant. <laughs> but so that was that course. And I got the stroll through nature again. And you got? I got the pork shank again, um, which mine was basically the exact same thing. Very good pork shank, fell off the bone. Um, I liked the horseradish mashed potatoes that was over, um, but overall very much the same that I had before. Would get it again. It was good. So the Stroll Through Nature is gnocchi dish, and it was different than what it was when I had it last. Last time it was mostly just kind of pasta and oh, cream sauce and cheese. This time there were lots of veggies thrown on top. And... I have kind of mixed feelings about this dish because I think it's a more well-rounded vegetarian dish now, but I didn't like it as much. I didn't think it tasted as good. I told you that I didn't think it was as decadent mm -hmm. as it was previously because now there's a ton of asparagus and tomatoes and everything in there. So it it is a more well-rounded vegetarian dish, but the asparagus flavor wasn't spectacular because I I don't generally choose asparagus, but I know I've had it at Boma mm -hmm. several times and liked it, but in this dish, didn't love it. So it was good, it was edible, but before I was like dreaming about the stroll through nature from the last time I had it, and I haven't been having dreams about this dish. Yeah, so consistency might be something to think about with this restaurant. Um, mine was exactly the same, as far as I can remember it. But yeah, like I said, yours was significantly different. Right, but I think that was an update that they were trying to do to make the dish 
less just pasta with sauce. True. But it just, it was more healthy and I didn't like it. True. As much. Yeah. So we eat that and then dessert. Yes. So desserts, just like the appetizers, is displayed on the Lazy Susan tree. And the dessert options are Miner's Treasures, which is a cookies and cream panna cotta and chocolate gem, the fairy tale gooseberry tart, and the poison apple, which is a dark chocolate apple mousse and sour center. The apple is exact same as well as before, basically just a very dark chocolate truffle with a little bite in the middle. Um, which I don't like dark chocolate. Yes. So I ate one bite and then that was it for me. Yes. I enjoyed it, but if you, it, like, if you and, like dark yeah, chocolate, it's If good. you like dark chocolate, it'll be great. I really like the gooseberry pie. Mm -hmm. It tasted a lot like an apple pie, but just with a little hint of tartness. So I thought that was good. And I thought the miner's treasure, mm -hmm. the cookies and cream mousse was also very good. That was my favorite of the, of the bunch was the mm -hmm. miner's treasure. Um, that was very good. That one though was very different than the first time because the first time it was like a, almost like a trifle. Like a cake pop yeah. layered thing. Whereas this one was not. By it, was, any means. it was the dome. Yes. Disney loves their domes. So this is the latest. The latest dome. The latest encounter change. we've had with the Disney dome. Yes. So that was very good though. And then the last dessert that's also included is the Hunter's Gift to the Queen. And this one was also completely different than the first time. They also now in the app don't list what you get for that. Yes, that's Which true. is interesting because previously it came with either maple or caramel popcorn and little chocolate truffles. Mm -hmm. And this time our server opened it and there were just two truffles. There was no popcorn. So just he took a truffle and put one on each of our little dessert plates and then disappeared and didn't say anything. So you took a bite of yours, mm -hmm. milk chocolate, caramel center. Yes. I take a bite of mine. It's dark chocolate. Yeah. Which surprised me because you think if you're going to a family that you would kind of give them the same thing. The have... same thing. Because a kid would just pop that in their mouth and then go, whoa, if they don't like dark chocolate. But luckily, we both just took a little bite and swapped. Swapped. So, you know. But that was, those were the eats. Yes. And the character interactions, the queen was fun, Snow White was very fun, and Dopey was putting on a show, Grumpy was in character, but by the time we ended the meal, we had not seen Grumpy yet. Yes. So our server comes over with the check and is like, okay, so you've seen everybody, you guys are good to go. And we said, well, actually we haven't seen Grumpy. And he said, oh, well, I can get you more desserts if you want, So didn't know this was a thing, but and, and again, don't know if it's always a thing or if it's just because we were just sitting waiting for Grumpy to come. Right. So we requested more desserts and we got we got more desserts. Well, it was after you paid. Once yes. you had paid, then we went ahead and said, "Can we have more desserts?" And he asked, "What did we want?" And you just said everything. Mm -hmm. So he just brought us another round of the desserts, which we were very full, but hanging out, eating extra. Dessert. Waiting for Grumpy. Waiting for Grumpy. Who did eventually come and then we took off. Yes. You know. But overall, before it was one of my favorite character meals on property and I don't think it no. holds up anymore. I think the first time we had such a great cast member that that made the meal that much better too. Right. We this had a time, really excellent yeah. server last time. So I'll link that video up above if you have not watched that one before. But that one, that our server at that time was amazing. I think it was, was it David, David his name? I think. Um, and we, it's hilarious. We're baby vloggers and are very tired. <laughs> yes. So, enjoy that. But I think there was a, a big combination of things with this meal. And a lot of it was the service being pretty bizarre. Yeah. I will it, say, though, shout out the cast member that was kind of like helping the out character the character attendant the character he attendant was fabulous was phenomenal 
There was a point at the end of the meal where we stood up to leave and he asked us to kind of like wait and let Grumpy visit the other tables and like have him move out of the way before we can get to the door. So I, we, I, we were just kind of standing there talking to him and chatting with, with this man. He also asked if we wanted him to take pictures for yes. us. So we just, there, the character attendant was great. He was one that was like super Disney, just really a fabulous cast member and we were really lucky to have him there yes and we were celebrating our anniversary and said that we're getting married soon and then he was talking about weddings and his friends getting married and just was very lighthearted and conversational yeah. compared to our server who was like who ended up reaching around me while I was talking to the character attendant to grab the check which was yeah. odd like yeah he was just like yeah he was a man of few words who just kind of hid behind us and would appear sometimes. I don't know. So, overall, not our greatest experience here. Food was not as we remembered it. The service was definitely not Aww. to the same caliber as the first time. Characters were good though. Yeah, the characters were great, of course. And you're paying in part to see the characters. Right. But I don't know if it's do you think it's worth the sixty dollar price tag no would be would be my first your gut my gut reaction, reaction is no but if you are or have any members of your party that are like die hard uh snow white fans or dopey fans or grumpy fans because you can't see those characters in the anywhere park. else so well, you can see snow white you can't true. see the queen and the two dwarves so for that aspect potentially it's more like a one like one and done type of thing now I think if the dining plan came back, I would say definitely try go it. for it. Yeah, it's a good value for the for the dining plan. Sixty bucks though is a bit high you when can, you're paying out of pocket. Yeah, there are character meals on property that are significantly cheaper, so and just better meals overall. Right. So, yeah. Sorry, we don't have more positive things to say can't win them all guys <laughs> right and i guess that's something to note is that with the disney restaurants they change out the chefs quite a bit too so the consistencies if you go five years from now and love this place now it might be completely different in five years right well that's what happened to us we right. loved it two years ago and then came back and i do think a lot of it was the the service yes but yeah so that will do it for this review, re-review of Storybook Dining at Artist Point. Let us know in the comments below if you have tried this out recently or previously and what you got, what you liked. Tell us where we should go instead. Yes, let us know where we should go next. We love doing our, doing our dining reviews, we love trying new places, so let us know. But that will do it for this little review. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. See you real soon.